Hello everyone, welcome to the TribeFan879 YouTube channel. Today we will be continuing the 2018 Colorado Rockies Stratomatic Super Advanced Replay. Today is game 59 where the Rockies host the Los Angeles Dodgers. Today's pitching matchup is Chad Bettis for the Rockies and Alex Wood for the Dodgers. And we'll just go ahead and get started. Leading off for the Dodgers and playing shortstop is Chris Taylor. Bettis, Bettis is a righty, so we have a righty-righty matchup. Okay. And that's a swing and a miss strike three. So Taylor goes down on strikes, and that's one away here in the top half of the first. And now up is the third baseman, Justin Turner. That's a high pop-up. Story is underneath it, and he'll make the catch for two away here in the top half of the first with nobody on and no score. And here's Yasmani Grandal, the catcher. And against is a switch hitter. He's batting left-handed. That's a ground ball to second base. Up with it is uh, LeMayhew. Throws it over to McMahon, and that'll retire the side in order. Dodgers go down one, two, three. We go to the bottom half of the first. No score. Alex Wood finishing up his warm-up toss tosses, leading off and playing second base is DJ LeMayhew. And against the lefty, that's a ground ball to second. That's uh, Logan Forsythe up with it. Throws over to Max Muncy, and that's one away. Here's Charlie Blackman, the center fielder. And that's a long fly. Actually, that's a long fly ball. Left field does not quite have the distance. Or right field doesn't quite have the distance. Yasiel Huig will make the catch in front of the warning track. And that's two away. And Wood breathes a sigh of relief. And here's Nolan Arenado. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is Taylor. He should make that. He'll make that. He'll get to it. The play to first is short stop. Three and a twenty-two and an eleven. There is no eleven. So Taylor up with it, throws and gets them. And that'll retire the side in order. Both teams go down one, two, three here in the first. We go to the top half of the second, no score. All right, here's Bettis out to face the left fielder, Matt Kemp. And that's a ground ball to short. Story up with it, throws over to McMahon, and that's one away. And here's Max Muncy, the first baseman. And that's a ground ball to second. LeMahieu... Throws the first, and that's two away, and Bettis is making this look kind of easy. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three for Yasiel Puig, the right fielder. And once again, the Dodgers go down one, two, three. We go to the bottom half of the second, no score. Here's Alex Wood. He will face the shortstop, Trevor Story. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. First out, and here's Ian Desmond playing left field today. And that's a line drive base hit, and they'll get cut off. Desmond takes the turn and heads back to first, and that's the first base runner. And with Grandal being the catcher, it's 75%. Ooh, the bottom part of the lineup's not great, so they will take a shot. He's a 2-5 to five to get a jump. No, not even close. Okay, they will hold him on. And time to grab the Havoc die. Now, as many of you know, the red die will determine wild pitches and pass balls. That's the only thing the red die is used for. And for maybe another check. All right, here's Noel Cuevas, runner on first with one out. That's... Uh, 18, so nothing there. Ground ball to third. Turner up with it. 
Can they turn two? The 18 is going to be good. Yep. And Turner is a 19 and a 7. No, in fact, he won't even get the first out. He throws it wide of second, and everybody's safe. So that could this could end up costly, as all runners are safe. And here is Chris Iannetta, the catcher. And Iannetta swings and misses straight three. And here is Ryan McMahon with two out, two on and two out. And Wood looking to get out of this early uh, early game jam. And he will because the anti-clutch of Ryan McMahon. So if those of you don't know, for Super Advance, if they have the horseshoe and or the Omega sign, and it's a base hit, that turns into an out if there are two outs and runners in scoring position. So the rules say that his score is a pop-out, so we will say he pops up to the first baseman, and that'll retire the side. The Rockies leave two, and we head to the top half of the third. I have got to find Bettis' hitting card. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. So we take a little bit of a delay here. Okay. Bettis is not that good a hitter, so he, he will be the first stop in the bottom half of the third. And speaking of bottom half of the order, leading off in the bottom half or top half of the third, here is the left the center fielder, Jock Peterson. And Jock will be a four in center field. So get that changed real quick. All right, here is Peterson against Bettis. And that is a play for the catcher. That's Ionetta. That should be an easy play for him. And a one should be no problem. Four and a 17. That is a high pop-up in front of the plate. Ionetta throws the mask off and squeezes it for the first out. And here is Logan Forsythe, the second baseman. And that's a fly ball to left field. Maybe coming in a step or two is Desmond, and that will ret retire the, the second batter of the inning. And here is Alex Wood, the pitcher. Ooh, got it right in the middle. That's a ground ball to third. And that'll retire the side. Nine up and nine down for the Dodgers here in the first three innings. And we go to the bottom half of the third. No score. And here's Alex Wood facing Chad Bettis. And Bettis is a right-handed hitter. And that's a line drive base hit. So Bettis, helping his own cause, gets on at first. And we will check to see if Bettis gets any... Uh, Extra speed instead of the usual 1 to 10. And Stratomatic says, yes, he does. He runs at a 13. So a little good speed there. Travis Wood does also gets an extra speed boost at 1 to 13. So lead off runner aboard. That goes to back to the top of the order in DJ LeMayhew. And they will not hold Bettis on. And they will not hit and run. That's a high pop-up foul territory. Turner has room and will make the catch. So, hey, not great uh, work with the uh, leadoff runner on board. Here's Charlie Blackman. Oh, that's a high fly ball left field. On the edge of the warning track is Kemp to put it away. Oh, a one to three would have been a home run, and that was a five. So, two outs and runner on first, and here's Nolan Arenado. So, that's a three base hit center field. Bettis will go to third, and the Rockies have runners on the corners with two outs. And here is Trevor Story. Oh, wait, Arenado just murders left handed pitching, not 
literally, but he's really good. And nothing on the 20. That's a ground ball to third. Turner up with it, throws and gets him, and the sides are tired. The Rockies leave two, and we go to the top half of the fourth. No score. And here is Bettis. We'll face Chris Taylor again. Taylor struck out his first time up. And that's a fly ball to left. Going back a few steps is Desmond. He'll make the play. And that's one away. And here's Justin Turner. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And with two outs and nobody on, here's Yasmani Grandal. Grounded out the LeMahieu his first time up. And the fly ball deep right field in front of the warning track in the on the warning track making the catch is Quavis and that'll retire the side oh my the ballpark home run is one to 15 and that was a 16 so by the hair of his chinny chin chin Chad Bettis gets out of that retiring the side and here is going to the bottom half of the fourth no score as soon as I put the zero up there and Alex Wood will face Ian Desmond. Ooh, Desmond just missed one in his power zone. Ground ball to second. Just got off the end of the bat. Uh, Forsyth over to Muncie, and that's one away. And here's Noel Cuevas. Reached on an error his first time up. And that's a ground ball to second. Forsyth, a good range here. Let's see if he'll make the play. Oh, boy, this is not good. 16 and an 18. Oh, and he throws it into the dugout. And the umpire awards Cuevas second base. So Cuevas has reached twice on, on base today with errors. And the Rockies have a runner in scoring position now with... Uh, one out, and here's Chris Ionetta. Defense not being helpful to Alex Wood today. Okay, nothing on the 20 there. And Ionetta takes a mighty hack and strikes out. Two away, runner on second. And here's Ryan McMahon. Nothing on the 20. Ooh, that's a swing and a miss. Straight three. Wood sets the Rockies down here in the bottom of the fourth. We go to the top half of the fifth. No score. Here's Matt Kemp. Against the righty. That's a ground ball to third. Arenado easily gets that one. Throws to first, and that's one away. And here's Max Muncy. And finally, after four and a third innings, the Ro the Dodgers get their first base runner on a ball on a correction single by Max Muncy. So, first base runner for the Dodgers. Oh, they will not hold him on. Here's Yasiel Puig. And Puig, maybe the Dodgers have started to wake up here. Line drive, that'll go all the way to the wall. Muncie will hit second and stop at third. And the Dodgers have something cooking second and third with one out. And the Rockies will play the infield in. Trying to cut off a run here in this. Where runs maybe in short supply. Who knows? Here's Jock Peterson. 0 for 1 today. Popped up to the catcher. Nothing there. And line drive right at the first baseman. And McMahon catches it. And that's two away. They'll go back to their normal positions now with two outs. And here is Logan Forsyth. Two outs, runners on second and third. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And Bettis handles his first trouble bearing down. And after 
four and a half, it's the Dodgers nothing and the Rockies nothing. And Alex Wood will face uh, Chad Bettis one for one on the day. He singled his last time up. And here's the pitch to Bettis. And that's actually the better roll because Bettis is weak. That's a fly ball that'll get over the head of the center fielder. And hitting second base is Bettis. He is two for two on the day. He probably couldn't tell you the last time he had two hits in a game, but that's okay. And here is DJ LeMahieu. They'll try to take advantage of this one. Um, not going to bunt, so we'll leave the corners as is. All right, here's LeMahieu facing Alex Wood. High fly ball. Deep left field. Going back is Kemp. He will watch it go. Home run, DJ LeMahieu. And the Rockies go on top 2 nothing. As LeMahieu rounds the bases and high fives all around. And the Rockies have a 2 nothing lead. Here's Charlie Blackman. Ground ball to second. Forsyth up with it, gets it, throws, and got him. And here is Nolan Arenado, one for two on the day with a single. And Arenado hits one into the gap, and it rolls around. He's hitting second. He's not stopping there. Hitting into third with a slide, and in with a triple is Nolan Arenado. He had two of them on the year. And once again, the Rockies are in business with a runner on third and less than two outs. And will the Dodgers play in? Mm. Now they'll give up a run for another out. But here's Trevor's story. And that's good enough. Fly ball, center field, going back on it is... Peterson, he'll make the catch. However, that's deep enough to easily score Arenado. And the Rockies take a 3-0 lead. As this has not turned into a good fifth inning for Alex Wood. However, there are two outs and nobody on. Here's Ian Desmond. Oh, and he hit him. Oh, boy. Desmond not very happy about that. Here is Noel Cuevas. Uh, Desmond, you know what? They're going to take a shot at trying to get him a jump again. Two to five. Oh, the nice rollover. Okay, so he'll get a jump. One to 15, he will steal the base. And he's in there with a stolen base. So Desmond steals second. And here is Noel Cuevas with a runner in scoring position. Won't matter. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. The Rockies score three here in the fifth. And we go to the top half of the sixth. The Rockies lead 3 nothing. And this is Bettis' point of weakness. Ooh, they're going to pinch hit for Alex Wood. They're going to say, Alex, you've had enough today. Pitching to... 24 batters. Bravik Valera will come in and pinch hit for Wood. And Eric Goodell will, will uh, be coming into the game to pitch the Sixth inning. So, all right. So here is Bravik Valera hitting for Alex Wood. Here's Chad Bettis. That's a three. That's a five. And that's a ground ball to first. McMahon takes it to the bag himself. And that's one away. And that will go back to the top of the order. Uh, Chris Taylor. 
strikeout and a flyout his two times up. And once again, the ballpark correction helping the Dodgers again. One to seven's a base hit, and that's a seven. So Taylor is on, and Bettis has a tremendous move to first. So he'll make up for Ionetta. That'll be a minus five, and that won't. They won't do fifty-fifty. They'll hold him on, but he's not going anywhere. Here's Justin Turner, one out and one on. And that is a line drive base hit past the shortstop. And the Dodgers have something cooking here. And here is Yasmani Grandal. The Rockies have Chris Rusin loosening in the pen. They will... Actually, they may do it. And they might end up doing a double switch here, too, so... All right, so here is uh, Grandal, 0 for 2 on the day. Nothing there. And that is a line drive that'll get over the, the head of Blackman. Into score is Taylor. Heading for third is Turner. Not being held on. So that bumps him up to a 13. Blackman's a plus one, one to 14. They're going to send him. The throw to the plate is in time. Great relay. We're going to call that from center field. Blackman to the, let's see, left-handed hitter. So I'll say that's to the second baseman, uh, LeMahieu, onto the catcher, Ionetta. For the second out of the inning. Oh, boy. And here is Kemp. Matt Kemp. 0 for 2 on the day. And that's a fly ball to... Oh, no. Not so fast, my friend. There's that 2 on that D20. So, Bettis has a balk of 3. And the umpire calls time and moves Grandal to 3rd. Oh, don't know if he didn't come set, but... Bettis got called for a balk, and that puts the runner on third, and they'll start over for Kemp. It will not matter. That is a fly ball to right. Going back on a couple steps is Cuevas. He will make the play. The Dodgers get a run back and trail 3-1. to one. All right. <sighs> Bettis will get taken out because he hit his point of weakness there in the sixth. So they have uh, Carlos Gonzalez will come out and pinch hit for uh, Bettis. Gave six innings, only gave up a run. He'll ask for that any day of the week. Uh, no, Wood will not be in. We pinch hit for him. Here is Eric Goodell. But then again, you old school guys, everybody say, you and your six inning pitchers. Yeah, I know. Baseball's changed. All right. Here's Chris Ionetta facing Goodell. So the righty righty matchup. And that's high and outside for ball four. And not the way Dodgers fans want to see their relievers come in. Here's Ryan McMahon. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And they'll keep the lefty train coming. Actually, they might go to the righty, which they don't really have. Eh, we'll go with Carlos Gonzalez then. Now batting for the pitcher, Betis, Carlos Gonzalez. Okay. And we'll put him there. So Carlos Gonzalez last year was with the Indians and the Cubs, I believe. However, did not play the whole season. And I don't believe he's got a team this year. So, all right, here is the pitch to Gonzalez, left-handed. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. And so, goes down 
Swinging, two outs, runner on. Ionetta's not going anywhere. And here's DJ LeMayhew. His two-run homer got the scoring started for the Rockies. And not this time. Fly ball to left field. And Kemp is under it. He'll put it away. And that'll retire the side. Six complete at Coors Field. Rockies three. Dodgers one. And Bettis will be done for today. Here's Chris Rusin coming into the game. The lefty. So he'll face the lefty Max Muncie. Then Puig and Peterson. So we'll put, uh... All right. So seventh inning here. Top of the seventh. And that's a line drive in the center field. Cutting it off nicely is Blackman holding Muncy to a single. And leadoff single for the Dodgers. Here's Yasiel Puig. Nothing on the 20. And that's high and outside ball four. So Rusin is not doing so well here. And Rusin will get, actually, he'll get the early hook. I don't like what they see. And in comes Oberg to face the right-hander Puig. Actually, oof. Yep, they'll bring Oberg in. So Rusin faces two batters. And uh, Bud Black didn't like what he saw. So here is Oberg coming in, finishing his warm-up tosses. And he'll face Yasiel Puig. And that's a ground ball to third. Up with it is Arenado. Over to second for one. The relay not in time. So Peterson, or Puig beats out the hit. Muncie will go to third on the play. And that is the first out of the inning. And here is Jock Peterson, or sorry. Actually, no, that would have been Peterson. Yeah, that's the same thing. Well, actually, no. Sorry, if that's Peterson, that is not a ground ball. The third, that was 6-6. Six, six. That's a base hit. And that'll score and score and go to third. So, sorry, my bad. Got the run, the feelers confused here. Okay, so the Dodgers cut the deficit to three to two. My bad. And here's Logan Forsyth. Uh, the Rockies will bring the infield in. They will not give up. Try, they'll just try to cut off the run at home. And two and a four. So that's the pass ball ring. That's Ionetta's a zero. So. And the re roll. Oops, shouldn't have done that. That's a swing and a miss, strike three, and Forsyth goes down on strikes. And the pinch hitter will be, we'll have Kike Hernandez come up and pinch hit for uh, Goodell. So you might hear some uh, ambulance signals in the background. All right, one out, first and third. Infield is still in. Uh, Rockies lead by one. And that's high and outside ball four. The bases are loaded. And here is Chris Taylor. Loaded infield in. That's to the shortstop. Story. Could we get a 6-2-3 double play here? 
So one and an oh yeah, that'll be a G G one. 14 and an 11. No, so G1 with the bases loaded. So Story throws home for one. On the first double play. So the slick fielding by Trevor Story gets the Rockies out of a jam. The Dodgers cut into the lead 3-2 to two as we go to the seventh inning stretch. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back for it's for the Rockies. They don't win. It's a shame. It's one, two, three, six. You're out at the old ball game. And we will go with Justin Strawberry Fields Forever here in this uh, bottom half of the seventh. Okay, so he'll face Blackman, Arenado, and Story. Oof. Six, seven, that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So a little bit tougher on lefties is uh, Fields. And here is Nolan Arenado, one for three on the day. And that is a line drive, and that'll get over Peterson's head, and that'll go to the wall. And that's the second double of the game. Oops. Wrong side. K okay. and double. Okay, and that's the second double in the, the game. Actually, that's single double and a triple for Arenado. Wow, if he gets one more at bat, he could have to get for the cycle. Rocky's, of course, hoping it doesn't come to that, but here's Trevor's story with the runner on second and one out, and they will not hold him on. That is a fly ball to right. Now, Arenado will, ooh, for Puig, yeah, what the heck, he'd only be a 1-8 to eight to be safe, because Puig has an excellent arm, but he's only out on a 20, so they'll take a chance, 40%, and that's an 8, and he's safe, Nolan Arenado, not usually uh, the speed merchant on, on base, but tested Puig, and, and he won, so... Runner on third with two outs for Ian Desmond. And let's see if uh, he can get the job done against Fields. Three, three. And yes, he does. The once I mentioned the Omega with the base hit next to it is an out. The Omega next to an out is a base hit single two stars. And a big clutch hit by Ian Desmond. And that puts the Rockies ahead by two again. Four to two. Wow. Um, Fields is still okay. So that Arenado aggressive base running comes in to help. Actually, it wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered anyway. Single two stars. Nothing there. High pop up to the shortstop. Taylor is under it and puts it away. The Rockies get a big insurance run. And we go to the eighth inning. Uh, do they want to leave Oberg in? Or they will, but Jake McGee is loosening in the pen if he gets into any issues. So he has two against him. So, I mean, he was... Doesn't matter until he gets the third out. So one, three. So he now would he would be starting his point of weakness. So here's Justin Turner. He is one for three on the day with a single and a strikeout. Oops, didn't need to do that. That's a play for Arenado. A nine and a fifteen. 
And that's a e good play for Arenado. Up with it, throws and got him. And here is Yasmani Grandal against the lefty. That's a ground ball to second. LeMayhew, sure handed, gets him, gets it and throws him out. Two outs here in the top of the eighth, and here's Matt Kemp. And that's a play for the shortstop story. And an 8 and a 14. That should be good as well. Yep. So the infield makes some great plays. And the Dodgers go down 1, 2, 3 here in the 8th. And they will not leave in strawberry fields forever. They will bring in Tony Singrani to finish off the... Eighth, bottom half of the eighth inning. Wade Davis is loosening in the pen. They would like to get some insurance runs. Let's let me find uh, Sangrani's card. And there it is. Okay. All right, so we'll just put uh, Sangrani, and we'll turn over Kike Hernandez's card. Okay, so there's Tony Sangrani. And just leave that there, and then we'll put the batter card there. So Sangrani will face Ionetta McMahon and a pinch hitter, which will be Gerardo Parra. Being uh, getting a bat from the rack, and here is Ionetta facing Sangrani. Five, eight, and that's a line drive down the left, the the third base bag down the line, and Ionetta into second with a double. So the Rockies want to add some more runs. They're not comfortable with a two run lead. They want to get more, and here's Ryan McMahon. Uh, they will leave the corners back. And that is a fly ball to center field. Peterson is a four, and that'll drop. That looks, I think that'll drop. Oh, and that's not so good either. So. Four and an 11, that'll drop. And let's see what happens. Two and a 16. Ooh, just avoids getting it go past them. But that's a base hit for uh, McMahon. And rounding third and heading home is uh, Ionetta. And the Rockies lead five to two. And now we will bring up Gerardo Parra, the pinch hit. And here is Para. Swing and a miss, strike three. And I will pause the video. All right, and we're back. And lead back to the top of the order after Parra strikes out. And that's DJ LeMahieu. And against the lefty Sangrani, ground ball to second. Uh, Forsyth over to Taylor for one on the first double play. And that'll retire the side here in the eighth. The Rockies add one, and we go to the top half of the ninth. Here comes Wade Davis. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. He will face Max Muncy, Yasiel Puig, and Jock Peterson. 
Actually, no, they will not face Muncie. Off the bench coming on is Cody Bellinger. And he will uh, replace Muncie if this game somehow becomes tied at first base. So Muncie was two for three, but he's getting lifted for a pinch hitter. All right, so here's Cody Bellinger against Wade Davis, the third reliever today for the Rockies. All right, and here is the pitch to Cody Bellinger. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Davis gets the first out here in the ninth. And here is Yasiel Puig. And that's a ground ball to third. That's almost automatic for Arenado unless he th overthrows. Ooh, and he might have just done that. 15 and a 16. I think he threw it in the dugout. Yes, he did. So Puig gets on and goes to second on the throw into the dugout or the camera bay, wherever it went. All right, so that made it a little bit interesting. Here's Jack Peterson. Oh, no, no, hold on. Hold the phone. Red D20 says a one, so that's an automatic wild pitch. So we will re-roll here for Jack Peterson. Six, six lefty. Swing and a miss, strike three. So that's the second out of the inning. And the Rockies fans get on their feet, hoping for the final out and a victory here against the Dodgers. Here's Logan Forsythe. They will not hold the runner on third. And that is a fly ball center field. Blackman is under it, and that's your ball game. Wade Davis comes in for the save. The Rockies win five to two and go to twenty four and thirty five on the day on the on the season. Uh, DJ Lemayhu played hero in the the fifth inning with a two run homer, and then a sacrifice fly by Trevor Story essentially put them up for good, but a good hard played game by the Rockies. Uh, Bettis gets the win. He goes six innings. Uh, giving up no, he gave up one run. Actually, he does. No, he didn't give up. He gave up the one run. Yeah. And then uh, a little bit of trouble from the bullpen, but Wade Davis slams the door in the ninth. All right. I know I haven't made a video in a while, so because of that, and because the matchup is so good, the next game coming on the Tribe Fan 879 YouTube channel is game number 60. Uh, coming to you from Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. This is Kyle Freeland against Anthony DiScalfani. And that would be, that's game 60. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, if you were watching for the first time, thank you very much for finding my channel. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit that bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, either tabletop, video game, or on PC, may your games be lively and your games be good. Have a good night, everybody.